Welcome inside the studio for 13 ABC Marketplace Expert Edition here with John Clements. Uh, I guess you may know him better as the basement doctor, yes. the good doctor. The good uh, doctor. No, no cap and a little less beard. But, a little less, little less, yes. But I still see the resemblance <laughs> there. That's, that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, I feel like we're inside the actor's studio, but this is more inside uh, the basement doctor's studio. Okay, so first and foremost, help me out here. Uh, you are the man to see when we have problems in the basement. What do we do with the first sign of an issue? First thing is call us. We are very, uh, very proud of the fact that we offer a no pressure situation. We're going to come out. We're going to analyze what's going on. We're going to do an inside thorough inspection, an outside thorough inspection, whether it be a basement, a slab, a crawl space, whatever the case may be. And we're happy to present any findings that we've got. We're here to educate the homeowner and let them make the proper decision for their own house. I would say uh, we have had, and, and, and working with our meteorological staff, uh, we've had the wettest spring that it's we been maybe, ridiculous. Yeah. maybe since Noah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, what I gotta imagine business is crazy right now. Well, there is another business we own. We build arcs on the side, <laughs> and, and we're collecting good the side hustle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, business has been very well this year. Yeah, we've done very good. Um, I don't like to benefit off of other people's disasters, sure. but the good news is we're here to help. Exactly. And if we can help you out, we're happy to. And what is, give me some of the early signs. Obviously, you know, standing water in the basement is the obvious sign, mm -hmm. but there's always some early signs. What would some of those be? Well, you know, one thing that I've always recommended to people, you've uh, got a house and you're going to put an office in the basement because you're working at home now. Right. You're going to put the family room downstairs. You've, your family's exploding. So you're having another kid. You want to put a bedroom down there. The basement doesn't leak yet. Waterproof it now. Do a little bit of preventative medicine, you know, so that you can you can solve the problem before it exists. Because 90% of all basements sooner or later are going to have an issue. We can address it ahead of time. The other thing that you want to do is keep keep an eye out for signs of water, um, mold, white chalky substance called efflorescence on the walls, mm -hmm. uh, cracks in the walls, or if you're just curious, it's a free inspection. We'll come out and take a look at it, whether you have a problem or not, and we can advise you as to what we see. Most homes nowadays have a sump pump. And one of the biggest complaints that we get, and we got them last night, the storm came through, the hail came, everybody got knocked out of power. You don't have a battery backup. Your sump pump's not gonna run. If your sump pump is 15 years old and you haven't checked it, there's a good chance it's gonna die. And when it dies, it's always raining. <laughs> of course, yeah. It's going to die when it's raining, right. and then you're going to be calling us at the last second panicking. And, and I think that's something that a lot of people don't know is that there's multiple uh, power sources for sump pumps. Electrical, yes. which is probably what the most common you would find. Yes. There's okay. also battery backup, which mm -hmm. we feel is the most efficient backup one. But you can also get home generators. You can get water line ones that, that run on, on the water pressure and stuff like that. There's a lot of different options out there. Not everybody has a basement. Some have crawl spaces. Mm -hmm. Crawl space also can be problematic, right? Well, it, it's interesting. It's that trap door that they never look at. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they get the odor. They get the smell. They get the bounce in the floor. And now it's too late. My technical way of inspecting a crawl space, open the door, mm -hmm. and if it smells gunky, <laughs> you've got an issue. Okay? <laughs> okay have you yet to find gunky? Gunky is, is a professional term that I, I am working on right now. <laughs> right. And, right. But I think we all know I think we all know what it is. I think yeah. we get that smell and we think, oh, it's wet, right? That, that pungent wet. odor, the yeah. mold, yes. So I mentioned there's less work because there's less space in a crawl space than there is a basement. Is that, is that true? Kind of. But if you think of it, the only difference between a basement and a crawl space is the depth of it Correct. and the concrete floor. If you have a concrete floor in the crawl space, you now just have a short basement. That's true, very short, okay? yes. So the repairs are similar from that aspect, but basically in a crawl space, we're looking at changing the atmosphere of the house. All right, so if you're having any of those problems, gunky smell, problems with the floor bouncing, uh, or more, you guys are the ones to call, you are the one to call. Where can they get a hold? 1877 dry time is the easiest way, or you can get on basementdoctor.com. We cover all of Ohio, half of Indiana, um, where it's a free inspection, no high pressure sales or anything like that, and we're happy to come out and help anybody we can. That's fantastic. Will you bring a lollipop after the visit? And uh, no, no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll work on it. He is John Clements, better known as the basement doctor. My name is Eric Halbert, and this has been another Marketplace Expert Edition.